بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دس ماڈیول وی شیل انڈرسٹینڈ نیمز ایز اے سنگل کانسیپٹ اینڈ دین بریک اٹ ڈاؤن فردر وی ویل انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از ماڈلنگ اینڈ واٹ از سملیشن نیٹ ورک ماڈلنگ اینڈ سملیشن از آفن کنسیڈرڈ اے سنگل ٹرم اٹ از بیکاز آف وائڈلی انڈرسٹ stood fact that these two go side by side whereas in reality simulation and model are quite different simulation is the imitation of the behavior of real world system it is a reenactment or we can say a realization an approximate realization of the real world which is governed and dictated according to the rules described in the model so how these two are interrelated generally speaking modeling precedes simulation together they form an iterative process this iteration continues till a closer to reality simulation is realized for validating the performance of a real world system in this figure we can see that when a system is to be realized as a simulation model first of all it is the modeling for the system that defines and describes the design details once it is designed the system is processed through a validation activity done as simulation if there is an anomaly it is considered to be an unsatisfactory design aspect and it must be reconsidered correspondingly modeling is performed again the simulations are performed yet again this process continues till an acceptable performance is seen through simulations and hence this process comes to an end in order to understand more closely how modeling and simulation are done let's look at a simple signal detection circuit to begin with this circuit compri- looks like comprising 3 to 4 devices connected in a certain way for the sake of convenience the input and output are shown now if there is no backdrop or a background given to the working and operation of the circuit and if inputs are given as a simulation to this circuit we can expect that as a mere coincidence this circuit gives us the desirable output or it gives us the incorrect output or there is no result at all why could we expect three different kinds of simulation behaviors from the same system it is because the behavior of this given signal detection circuit should have been determined by a model for example if it were an analog receiver design it should have been governed by detection theory so a detection theory model must have been enforced before the simulations could take place similarly if it were a digital circuit its behavior should have been dictated by a model as boolean algebra so we look at model now as the representation of the function given inputs and expected output for a system for a complex entity for a phenomenon and for even a single process with regards to network model if you look at it in communication systems paradigm it could be an analytical representation of the communication channel it could be straight mathematical modeling 
state machine representation a closed form of mathematical equation or an approximate form with such models we can expect a simulation to work appropriately so if we look at the definition of simulation with respect to model we'll say it is a computer software that reproduces behavior determined by the model and it would have a certain degree of accuracy the degree of accuracy of a simulation system to the real world system would be dependent upon how finely and to what finesse the model has been defined 